that these things are just theories. Gravity. <clears throat> Most people would say, well, that's not a theory. If you pick, drop something, it falls. Well, that is only one way of looking at it. It may fall. It may be pushed. Oh, gravity versus aether. Well, that brings in to mind the flat earth theory. And I'm not attached specifically to a spherical marble earth or a under the dome flat earth theory. I'm not specifically tied one to the other. As far as I'm concerned, they're both theories at this point. And from my perspective, equal. But to specifically claim to believe one thing versus another without proof, oh, the picture changed. Well, isn't that long? To state one way as if known for certain, well, that's just very arrogant. And that is the way most things are taught today. One side only as if there is no other way that's right and very arrogantly. And I, I try to be open. If I don't have very, very specific concrete proof one way or another, I try to look at all different ways. The learning tree that we just saw. You know, that's a very taught, forced way of looking at things. The DNA merge, the split, the change, the growth, the double spiral, the double helix, uh, the two snake staff, which doesn't represent medicine, but merchants and even soothsayers, snake oil salesmen, tricksters. Oh, but it is what it is. We'll cover this further in other later things. If you'd like to leave comments below, please do. Until next time, I bid thee adieu.